I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Sorry guys, I'm a little behind on videos. I have so many commitments going on in my personal life that I haven't been able to keep up with with my recipes so hopefully I'll get back on track. I think I got another week to go and then I should be back to normal and putting out videos at least once a week. Anyhow, today we're going to make a low carb yellow cauliflower rice. It's totally different. It's a great side dish and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So the first thing we're going to do is we've got a skillet, I've got the burner on and we're going to put in a tablespoon of olive oil. I also like avocado oil. You can use either one. That's up to you. And then I have a small yellow onion that I've sliced up, diced up. So we're going to saute this for approximately five minutes to get them transparent and then we will continue. The onions are cooked so now I'm going to add a can of coconut milk. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of turmeric. And the turmeric gives you that color. Get it all out of the bowl here. A tea, or a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. A half a teaspoon of coconut sugar. Now, I've used coconut sugar in the last recipe also. So, like I said, don't get upset with me. You can change up and use erythritol, you can use xylitol, you can use stevia. It's up to you what you want to use. Um, but I am using the palm sugar. And I'm just going to grab the package so you can see it. That's what I've been using and it's very healthy for you. I know the carb counts a little bit higher but we're not using that much so you know I wouldn't get too excited about it. Now we're going to add in an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon and a pinch of cardamom. There we go. We're just going to stir this up. So now I've got it to a soft boil. I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to move my pan off of the burner. See if we can get organized here a little bit. Now I've got the burner off. It's right off of the burner. Um, I'm going to put in a third cup of golden raisins. And we're going to just let them sit in this mixture for about 20 minutes. Now I let the raisins and the sauce steep for about 20 minutes. Now I've turned the burner back on and I want to get it to a light boil and then we'll add the cauliflower. So I have it boiling and I'm going to add in my shredded cauliflower. I took a whole cauliflower and took out the florets and I shredded it in my um, food processor. So we're going to stir this around and I also have one teaspoon of red crushed pepper flakes. So I'm just going to stir this around till we get it all mixed. So I've got it all mixed together and I'm going to put the lid on for about 10 minutes and leave it on medium heat and just let it cook so that my cauliflower is a little bit more tender. So I removed the lid and we're all set to go. I'm going to just put it in a bowl and then we're ready to serve. So I've got my cauliflower in the bowl and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a third cup of pecans on top. Now we are ready to serve. So here is my low carb yellow cauliflower rice. I don't even know how to describe it. It's got a real bite to it because of the red chili pepper um, flakes and then it's sweet because of the raisins. 
and then it's crunchy with the pecans. It's a nice little side dish. It's something totally different, but it definitely has a bite to it if you want to put a little less of the um, red pepper flakes in. That's up to you. Anyhow, go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com. Try this recipe and try some of my other ones. You take care, and I'll see you in the next video. And oh yes, it works out to be five carbs, or sorry, four net carbs per serving. So it's very reasonable, even though it's got the raisins in it and the palm sugar in it. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.